So four tenths of a pound up actually from where it was last time I weighed in. Uh, right now at 195, last time 194.6. Not really a big deal, that small amount of weight could be due to anything, could be like the amount of sodium I had yesterday, not getting quite enough sleep. When I took my macros in, blah blah blah. So not really too worried about it. I'm still on the right path. I'm still noticing like my pants fit like a little bit differently, so my shirts fit a little bit differently, things like that. So you know the scale isn't the only way to to estimate or judge progress, guys. It's a way and it's a good way. And it's a way that kind of feels good and it's more visual and easier to see, but it's not the only way. And still sometimes even when you drop weight and things like that. This scale can be a bit deceiving, so just wanted to share that with you guys. It's a little bit late for me to be eating breakfast, guys, but I worked late last night and uh, worked on a video when I got home and I got up early this morning and was working on a video again for like 30 minutes to an hour. Actually, I'll be honest, I kind of laid in bed for a while, Facebooked, Instagrammed, YouTubed, um, then I got up and worked on a video for like half hour maybe a little bit more and now I'm finally getting around to eating something so I got some lighting's bad chicken and rice there that is two servings worth of jasmine rice it's got some tomatoes and stuff in it it's delicious and then uh, not a whole lot of chicken only three and a half ounces actually it looks like more on camera though um, and then I've got one serving of shredded wheat and I don't always put milk in there because I think it tastes good anyway. Now I'm about to get myself a very big glass cup of water. Talk to you next time. Hey y'all, back in this here vehicle vlogging. Um, you guys ever have one of these days where your energy is just super high? I'm sure you can tell. I'm sure you can tell my energy is very high right now. Very. Anyway, my energy is just, your, your energy is just super high and you know you're going to have an awesome workout. You know, it doesn't happen. It's not every day. Not every day you just go to the gym and, and have an amazing, you know, workout full of just highlight reels or anything like that. You know, sometimes you just don't feel that like great. Your energy is a little bit low. Sometimes your workouts are just... You know, you're kind of doing it for an emotional release or something, you know, it's it's either, you know, sometimes you show up to the gym and it's just like, oh, no wonder it's so hot, I've had the heat on, gosh, beautiful day outside, but anyway, I think that's why I feel so good, the sun's shining and just vitamin K or D or whatever it is that the sun gives you, yeah, I just feel good, I just feel good, I'm getting over this cold, my back feels a lot better, I would say it's like 80% right now, and it's the best it's felt in like a month, so... That's awesome. Anyway, my hair's a little messed up though because I did have the windows down a little bit when I cruised over here. But anyway, you know, sometimes working out is just therapeutic. Sometimes it's just because you know you need to get in here and do it. Um, so not always is it just coming into here and just feeling great and having a great workout. You know, it's not always like that. Um, but today is going to be one of those days. So I'm going to give you a little, a little thing that you can meme up here and say... I don't always feel great when I go to the gym, but when I do, I lift heavy. Highlights coming soon. So two things, guys. Really weird. I was charging my phone on the way over here because it was kind of low on the battery, um, and somehow it went to like it was at like 18%. And I was like, man, maybe it wasn't plugged in all the way. I didn't have a charge. And then I plugged it in, and then like within two minutes, it was up to 35%. So I don't know what happened. Um, that's kind of weird. Anyway, number two. That's why I show you this car over here. Can I zoom on this thing? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, my car is like one model or one year older than that car, I think. Maybe two years older. Um, but it's like, like almost identical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to low-key pull out of this parking. Wait, wait, someone's coming out of the gym. I'm going to wait. If you whistle, no one knows what's going on. It's like standing still when a dinosaur looks at you. Wait, wait. Oh, someone's walking towards that car. Is it his? Oh, man. No, it's not. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Gonna wait a second. This is gonna look weird. It's gonna look a little stalkerish or something. Just waiting. Oh, I could outrun this guy. He's a little bit pudgy. Um, 
gosh, this is Planet Fitness. It's supposed to be the judgment for his own. What am I doing? What am I doing? Come on, I gotta get my life together. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna low key, as soon as this guy, he's like right across from me. It's kind of awkward. He's just looking at me because I'm vlogging. Everyone looks weird at you when you vlog, guys. But they're like, why is that guy talking to his cell phone? Anyway, this is making this clip way longer than I wanted it to be. But you guys just get to hear me ramble, so it's fine. I've got a really high energy level today, as I just said, so I'm fine with just jabbering on. Um, so while I'm waiting for him to pull off, I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've um, been listening to this iTunes Originals, which is basically, it's kind of like a biography mixed with music um, about artists' lives, and a lot of artists have these on iTunes, or on, well yeah, on iTunes, uh, and you can get them, and I've been doing listening to Rob Thomas's. Uh, lead singer of Matchbox 20 also has three very good solo albums put out. I've been a little bit obsessed for like the past three months with Matchbox 20 slash Rob Thomas. I've been listening to him and it's just different versions of the songs and like that you know of already and like how they came to be and how the that you know Rob Thomas or the band Matchbox 20 or whoever it is that you're listening to you know came to stardom blah 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 so it's just kind of cool you get to hear different versions more raw versions of the song anyway okay he finally pulled off so what I'm gonna do is anyway it's just pretty cool I, I would recommend listening to it guys so there you go I for real you guys really haven't seen my car but it looks exactly like that one so I'm just gonna yep driving driving just gonna pull up right next to this guy it's gonna freak him out when he comes out or she whoever it is they're gonna be like, what? Why is this car that looks just like mine parked right next to mine? This is hilarious. Oh man, I don't know why. I'm just really immature. I guess I get pleasure out of weird things like this. Okay, anyway, uh, I pretty sure I just leave my phone here set up so I can see the person's reaction when they come out, but I'm gonna bring it with me so I can listen to music. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Hey everybody, here with a chest and tricep workout. Um, on Tuesday, April 12th, I believe. Yes, it is the 12th. Uh, starting off with, I, I decided to go a little bit heavier today, as you saw in that clip I was talking about. Uh, just feeling really good, wanting to go heavy. So here I had um, 225 on the bench. Uh, for a lot of people, I know it's not that heavy, but um, for me, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> And I went for uh, two sets of six with 225. Actually, three sets of six. Um, and then I did one set of three with 245 on there. And then, of course, I you see here me doing a 245 on each side and a 25 on each side. And I don't know why this felt super heavy. I, I've bench pressed. I've bench pressed that much before. Um, but honestly, it's probably been about, oh man, a little over a year and a half since I've ever really focused on strength training. I've just been doing hypertrophy for a long time. So I'm definitely not as strong as I used to be on certain movements anyway. Bench press is one that I've really just been focusing on the hypertrophy. It's because I actually used to do really bad form on it. And so I've been focusing more on just getting that mind-muscle connection in proper form. Uh, here. You see me doing sets of incline. I did four sets of six on incline. So a lot of bench press movements uh, to get my chest fatigued. And then I did these uh, lateral raises. I This is only shoulder movement I did in today's workout. It's primarily chest and triceps, but like I said, I'm trying to bring up my uh, deltoids, bring them out, get more of those cannonball look in them. And so I threw in a few sets of those and I'll do a shoulders and arms day later in the week, I think Friday. And then here you see me doing chest flies, I did four sets of these, I did a lot, I don't record any of my tricep movements or the rest of my shoulder movement, so I did some more lateral raises with uh, drop sets and things like that, but I got really into the workout and didn't feel like uh, filming everything because I was kind of in the zone. So this is all I have for you today guys, but four sets of these as well. Um, all the sets were 10 reps, I believe, and I ended up going up to the 50s on these. I started out at 40s. I was just, like I said, I was just feeling pretty good. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you next time.